Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, August 31st. I'm Haley Stewart. And I'm Claire Twin, and here's what's going on at BHS. Reminder to Key Club members that the Oinking Acres event takes place today and every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. Also a reminder that they meet weekly on Tuesdays at 7.15 in the LGI. Come hear more about the Oinking Acres Fear Farm and other service opportunities. Nominations for this year's Mr. Bulldog contest are open this week for junior and senior boys to try out for the competition. You can scan the QR code on the screen to nominate one of your peers on a Google form. Nominations are open now through Thursday, September 1st. That's tomorrow. Letters will be delivered to the top 20 boys who are nominated during the day on Thursday. This year, the event will take place on November 17th in the auditorium. Freshmen, sophomore, and juniors. Picture retake day is scheduled for Tuesday, September 13th. If you were unable to have your picture taken during registration, are a new student, or if you are choosing to have your picture retaken, please stop by your team office to make an appointment. Students choosing to have a retake done must return their photo order or proof to the photographer on the day a picture retakes. All students must have their photo taken by the photographer in order to appear in the yearbook, but you do not have to order a photo package. It's not too late to sign up for your booth at the 2022 Cultural Fair presented by the Leaders of Tomorrow. You have until Friday, September 2nd at 3 p.m. if you'd like to sign up. You can scan the QR code on the screen, which will take you to a Google form. Boards can be provided for participants and will be passed out at the next meeting on Thursday, September 1st in the LGI room. So that's our first come, first serve. If you have any questions, please contact Marin Woods, Opiemi Alamfantui, or Cecilia Apuku. The Astronomy Club will have their first meeting on Thursday, September 1st after school at 3 p.m. Stop by B2307 and see Mr. Walter to pick up the schedule and sign up for their remind group. The next environmental club meeting will take place on Thursday, September 8th after school in room B2428. They have an exciting plans for this year and everyone is welcome, even if you miss their first meeting. They hope to see you there. You can now pre-order the new homecoming merch. The designs can be printed on t-shirts, hoodies, crewnecks, and long sleeves. Scan the QR code to pre-order now. Clothing will be handed out on Monday, September 19th. The game will be on Friday the 23rd. Best Buddies is starting up, so BHS TV's Annabelle Freeman has some more info for us. We had the opportunity to talk with the President and Vice President of Best Buddies here at BHS and find out what it's all about. At the high school, Best Buddies operates as a student-run friendship club, which creates buddy pairs between students with and without disabilities. The main idea of Best Buddies is just to include those people with disabilities and build friendships and just to build a more inclusive and positive environment. Best Buddies is a great place to meet people or get we get together about once or twice a month and we just hang out and it brings a lot of great opportunities to make friendships and just do really fun events. As a club we do a lot of bonding activities like coloring and parties and bowling and just stuff like that to get connected with everyone. According to bestbuddies.org the mission of Best Buddies is to establish a global volunteer movement that creates opportunities for one-to-one -one friendships, integrated employment, leadership development, and inclusive living for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Best Buddies had their call-out meeting on Monday, August 29th, but if you missed it, you are still able to get involved. It is recommended that you join the Remind by texting at HBC8B to 81010. That way, you can stay up to date with the next meetings and events. If you ever come up during the year, it's really easy to join at any time. I can get you set up with just like an account or just coming to the meetings and hanging out. It's really easy to just come. It's great to see the way that Best Buddies has such an impact on those here at the high school. Annabelle Freeman, BHS TV. Wow, it's really cool we have that set up here at BHS. Yeah, I can see how beneficial that would be to the school environment. Now it's time for sports. Hey Christian, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, we've had a few teams in action so far this week, and there's a lot more coming up the next few days. And let's get things started with the boys soccer team who hosted Franklin Central last night. The varsity had an impressive performance and finished with a 5-1 victory over the Flash. Evan Frost led the dogs with two goals. Gavin Wagers had an excellent shot from 40 yards out that found the back of the net. Michael Marcone assisted Roman Cordell for a goal, and Weston Bradley assisted Grant Porath. The dogs are now 4-0-2 for the season. Nice job, guys. They will host Tri-West tomorrow. Good luck. The JV team earned a 1-0 victory over the Flashes. Cesar Salcedo had the goal for the dogs. Will Orlando and Talon Collier combined for a sh shutout in the net. Drew Jennings and Jarrett Stone had some great center play to limit the FC's chances. The JV team is back on the pitch next week when they travel to Avon. The Unified Flag Football team had their first game of the season last night when they hosted Ben Davis. The Dogs came up just one point short, 52-51. to 51. Carson Knox had four touchdowns and an interception. Scotty Tienda had three touchdowns. 
Caleb Hellman also had a touchdown. Casey Sparks played great at quarterback, and the team will host Noblesville tomorrow. Good luck. The volleyball teams were back on the court last night at Mount Vernon. The varsity was dominant, winning in three sets. Kate Vrabel led the team in digs with 16 and also had six kills. Quincy Thomas had 24 kills and a hitting percentage of 50. Morgan Lucas scored the final point of the match on a kill to the deep corner. Nice job, ladies. The JV team won in three sets as well. Becca Rogers had 18 assists, and Angelina Adkins had four aces. Both teams will host Franklin Central tomorrow. Good luck. And the tennis teams hosted Noblesville on Tuesday night. The varsity had a tough loss, 3-2. Hank Giles won at the number three singles, 6-2 and 6-4. The number two doubles teams of Jacob Bailey and Aiden Spohr won 6-3, 3-6, six three, three six, and 7-5. The guys will also take on Franklin Central tomorrow night. Good luck. We've got another busy weekend coming up. But for now, that's it for sports. Back over to you. Thanks, Christian. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday.